here in the i button and in description box below you will get complete playlist of yes that is infinite series now i welcome you to video number 11 and in this video we are going to see comparison test very important test comparison test before i start this video i would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn from something from my videos then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of this uh, infinite series with your friends okay in this way you are going to support me and i need your support and it's it's just a request okay let us start that is comparison test if summation un and summation vn are series summation un and summation vn are series of positive terms okay it's a series and it is a series of positive terms such that such that limit n tends to infinity un upon vn is equals to l and what is l l is a finite and non-zero value okay yes how to find u and and how to find v n we will see that in later part of this video because i am going to solve a problem okay in this video only yes if summation yes if limit n tends to infinity u n upon v n is going to give a value which is finite and non-zero then only we can say yes summation u n and summation v n both series converge or diverge together okay if u if v n is converging then according to this test summation v uh, u n is also converging if summation v n v n is diverging then according to this test summation v u n is also diverging okay yes it's not like this is di this is converging and this is diverging okay yes apart from this we need to perform a test that is p series test okay what is p series test for this we need to know what is p series what is a p series yes summation n equals to 1 to infinity 1 upon n to the power p this is my p series okay i repeat this once again summation n equals to 1 to infinity 1 upon n to the power p this is my p series if you put n equals to 1 2 3 4 you are going to get this series that is 1 upon 1 to the power p plus 1 upon 2 to the power p plus 1 upon 3 to the power p plus dot 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 now this p series is convergent okay this p series is convergent if the value of p is more than 1 okay this p series is convergent if the value of p is more than 1 in the same way this p series is divergent if the value of p is either equals to 1 or less than 1 okay now with this we are going to start with a problem very very good question so here we have first question that is test the convergence of the series here we have the series that is 2 into 1 q plus 5 upon 4 into 1 to the power 5 plus 1 plus 2 into 2 q plus 5 upon 4 into 2 to the power 5 plus 1 plus dot 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 plus 2 n q plus 5 upon 4 n to the power 5 plus 1 plus dot 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 okay this is my nth term remember this is my nth term of this series now here first of all we need to know how to take the value of how to take u and n u n and v n okay how to take u n and v n okay for u n we will take nth term always okay for u n we need to take always the nth term okay and here the nth term is 2 n cube plus 5 upon 4 n to power 5 plus 1 okay from here from the numerator part we will take n cube common so you will have 2 plus 5 upon n cube similarly in the denominator part we will take common that is n to power 5 if you take n to power 5 common here we have 4 and here we have 1 upon n to the power 5 okay now here we have n cube and here we have n to the power 5 if you equate this you will get 1 upon n square okay 1 upon n square and the remaining part is here that is 2 plus 5 upon n cube upon 4 plus 1 upon n to the power 5 okay so this is what this is un now for vn okay for vn we need to know we need to see what is the highest power of n here we have highest power n is n cube okay yes n cube again in the denominator part again we need to see what is the highest power of n okay we need to write n with its highest power okay in the numerator and in the denominator part if this is a single term okay here we, we have u n as a single term so we need to see what is the highest power of n in the numerator part with this n we need to write this similarly we need to write the highest power of n in the denominator part with this n that is n cube upon n to 5 on solving this you will get 1 of 1 upon n square okay here we will get 1 upon n square and here again you can see 
I have already written that is 1 upon n square. So this is going to my Vn. Okay. This is going to be my Vn that is 1 upon n square. Now we need to find limit. Okay. Yes. So limit n tends to infinity un upon Vn. Okay. This has to be finite as well as non-zero value. For this we need to put un and Vn. Un is this and Vn is this. Okay. Un upon Vn. This upon this. You can see 1 upon n square, 1 upon n square will get cancelled. So we are left with only this part. Limit n tends to infinity. This part is here. Okay. Now if you put infinity in place of n, this term is going to be 0. This term is also going to be 0. So you are left with 2 upon 4. On solving 2 upon 4, you will get 1 upon 2. 1 upon 2 is a finite as well as non-zero value. Okay. Since it is non-finite as well as non-zero value, so we will perform P series test. Okay. Yes. Because we need to see what is the behavior of uh, summation of Vn. Okay. If it is convergent or divergent. Yes. So here, P series test. We need to find summation Vn. Okay. So summation of what is Vn? Vn is 1 upon n square. So simply write 1 upon n square. And what is P series? P series is summation of 1 upon n to the power P. If you compare this with this, you will see what is the value of P. P is 2. Okay. P is 2. Which is more than 1. Since P is more than 1, so we can say this summation Vn is convergent. Okay. Since P is more than 1, that is 2. So we can say summation Vn is what? Convergent. Had this been equals to 1 or less than 1, then it would have been divergent. Okay. And since Vn is convergent, summation Vn is convergent. Hence, by the comparison test, we can say Un is also convergent. Okay. Let's suppose this is divergent then we will write that hence by comparison test summation un is also divergent since it is convergent this is also convergent if it had this been divergent this would have also had been divergent okay i hope that you have understood something from this video if that is the case then please hit the like button and do share this video with your friends thank you thank you so much